Well, it's midweek, and this is a wonderful time, midweek, to dedicate yourself to being an expression of God's love again. And so, in all your activities this day, you're going to change your week. You're going to kick it up a notch. You're going to dedicate yourself to being an expression of God's love. This very thought will fill your heart with joy. Now, you'll have to remind yourself many times. I often, when I'm trying to do something new, when I'm trying to change my attitude, when I'm trying to change my week, I have to set an alarm or I have to set my watch to go off, something to remind me on an hourly basis that I'm kicking things up a notch, that I'm doing things differently, and you're going to remind yourself that beginning right now, you're an expression of God's love. You will have a sense broadcast forth from you that others will feel you will be an expression of God's everlasting love and acceptance. You'll express this love in thought and in word and in deed. You might not be able to fully define love, but you can recognize it as you see it in expression. And others will recognize it and feel it coming from you. Love in expression is generous, it's kind, it's considerate, it's patient, it's forbearing, it's understanding. As you dedicate yourself on this Wednesday, or whatever day you're watching this later on, to expressing love, you see the power of God's love help to dissolve any undesirable situations, to eliminate unwanted thoughts and feelings of a negative nature. And you remember that perfect love casts out fear, and it does so lovingly. Divine love is responsive in every aspect to your prayers and you say today, I want, I choose, I pray to become an expression of God's love. I know that I am loved, dear God. I know that I am never alone, dear God. I'm never apart from the infinite, eternal presence of you. And may I now give that type of feeling away to those that come in the circle of my presence in the next 24 hours. Amen.